Hi, Mr. Winley. Good afternoon, kids. I see you're eating a well-balanced meal. Our mama gave us five bucks and said we could buy whatever we wanted from the corner store. I assume they were sold out of Brussels sprouts. Ew, Brussels sprouts? That's gross, Mr. Winley. Ooh, get for that little man. You just stepped on my tomatoes. I don't see any tomatoes. They're not actual tomatoes, silly. They're just tomato seeds. That's right. I have to plant them first. And when I do, they're going to be the juiciest, most beautiful tomatoes you've ever seen. Are tomatoes really going to grow here? Of course, as long as I take care of this patch of dirt. You'd be surprised what can grow if you give it a little love. What else are you going to grow? Kale, carrots. Oh, these little guys? I planted these guys last week. They're going to be the strawberries. I love strawberries. Really now? Why didn't you get strawberries at the store instead of candy? They don't have strawberries at the corner store. What about Whole Foods, Trader Joe's? Do kids ever get snacks there? You mean the grocery stores in the rich neighborhoods? Our mama says those stores are too far and too expensive. Well, your mama's not wrong. That's why I plant a garden in my backyard. So I can have as many strawberries, Brussels sprouts, and tomatoes as I want. You have a garden in your backyard? Yep. Soon. This whole parkway is going to be a garden, and you kids can get your strawberries right here. <laughs> it's time for you to go now. Can I help you, brother? Uh, excuse me, yes, I'm looking for John Winley? That's me. Oh, Mr. Winley, I'm Theodore Kelly from the Bureau of Street Services, and I work for the City Council of Los Angeles. I take it you didn't come down here to help me grow my garden, did you? Quite the opposite, sir. Somebody complained last week about you digging up the dirt on the sidewalk. <laughs> and it, uh, it looks like you're uh, turning this into a habit, sir. There was nothing but weeds growing here before. I cleaned this whole place up. Is it a crime to want to see my neighborhood look better? Well, it's against city policy to treat a sidewalk as your own personal property. There's nothing personal about it, Mr. Kelly. Mr. Kelly, look, this whole place is going to be a garden. Anybody can come here and get fresh vegetables anytime they want. Even you. Well, uh, policy is policy. And, um, why would, she, why would uh, I'd leave this patch of dirt alone, or oh, it's going to cost you. Consider this a warning, Mr. Wynn, and uh, have a nice day. Can you really get in trouble for planting strawberries? It's OK. Everything's going to be all right. Now, kids, do you want to see what this garden is going to look like in three months' time? Yeah. Sure. Yeah? All right, come on. I'm going to show you something real cool through here guys welcome to my little paradise wow this is amazing mm -hmm. never seen a garden like this before yeah oh have one of these there you go big one for you try them they're sweet as candy mm. this is the best strawberry you ever had do i have to come on try it you're gonna like it Mmm, this is delicious. I told you. Hey, John, we were hoping you were here. Hey, Linda, hey, Maurice. Come on in. Don't eat everything. John, those carrots you gave us last time were perfect for the soup. Well, there's more where that came from. Oh, oh my goodness. Thank you so much, John. <laughs> this means a lot to us and everyone at the shelter. John, you know, I wish there were more people like you in the community. Well, I'm just doing what I love to do. I could teach y'all how to do it so you can spread the love. Oh, my gosh. I have always wanted to know how to plant my own vegetables. OK. Me, too. I want some more cucumbers and squash. All right. Next time I visit the shelter, I'm going to give you some tips on how to get started. Oh, okay. okay. that's good. That would be <laughs> incredible. All right. We're looking forward to it. All right, now. Have a good day, John. You, too. Bye. Bye, Linda. Bye. <laughs> hey, kids. Wait, Hi. you gave them all those vegetables for free? Yeah. Linda and Maurice. They cook for the homeless down at the shelter. They use the vegetables to make soup for them. 
We're all doing our part to help the community out. You two kids want to help out too? Sure, okay. All right, let's water some plants over here. All right, here we go. Oh, not so much. There you go. What are these gonna be, Mr. Winley? Brussels sprouts. They taste a lot better when you grow them yourself. Hey, Sammy, you wanna try some when they're done? Um, maybe. Right. Can I ask you a question, Mr. Winley? You've asked a hundred questions. What's one more? Why do you like growing your own vegetables? Hey, now. <laughs> <laughs> Well, good. You guys go. Appreciate it. Thank you. Have good days. You too. That's why, Grace, people in the community need healthier options. We can't keep eating fast food for every single meal. Folks need access to freshly grown produce. You kids already know. Can't get that in here, right? So if I can't bring the people to the vegetables, I'm going to bring the vegetables to the people. That's why you want to plant a garden in the sidewalk. That's right. The more gardens I grow, the more people I can feed. It's my mission. Are you going to do it all by yourself? I could try, but it would be a whole lot better if everybody in the neighborhood did their part to help. See, when a community comes together, we can accomplish incredible things. That's pretty cool. That's very cool, little man. And I'm going to teach y'all how to grow your own gardens. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, but let me get you home before the streetlights come on. Your mom is real crazy when y'all come home late. Good job today. Come on, come on, let's go. How's it going with there, Mr. Green Thumb? Hey, Kimberly. I see the kids told you about my little project. They sure did. Even Samuel here wants to eat more fruits and vegetables. Hey, now. that's what I'm talking about, Sammy. <laughs> Gotta say, I really appreciate what you're doing here. This could really benefit the whole neighborhood. Thank you. I just wish everybody felt that way. What do you mean? Who wouldn't love this idea? I don't know. Somebody called the city. They want me to shut it down. This came in the mail for me today. You can't shut it down, Mr. Winley. Yeah, people need their healthy food like you said. I ain't giving up just yet. It's gonna take more than a letter in the mail to stop me. Well, John, you know they won't just leave you alone. What happens if they do take away this garden? We'll plant another one and another one. We'll grow gardens all around this neighborhood until everybody has access to freshly grown produce. Am I right about the kids? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wow, you sure are resilient. Well, that's why they call me the gangster guard. Oh, is that right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who calls you that? Okay. Maybe nobody calls me that. <laughs> I, I call myself that. So today we're delivering veggies and fruit for the community. Care to join? Oh, that sounds like a good way to spend the day. You kids want to help Mr. Willie? Yeah. Sure. All right, let's go. All right. So this way. Enjoy the orange. We'll see you tomorrow, okay? Thank you so much. My kids are going to love these. Yeah, no problem. Hi. Right. Here you go. God bless you. How are you doing, sir? Oh, wow. Thank you, John. You have gone above and beyond. No need to thank me, Linda. I do it for the cause, not the applause. Okay. Well, at least let me make you dinner. You'll have something to take home. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I cannot say no to your cooking. Well, it is the least that I can do for the neighborhood hero. All right now. <laughs> okay. Mr. Kelly, to what do I owe the pleasure? It's just in the neighborhood. I wanted to stop by and say hi. I uh, I drove by the sidewalk the other day, and uh, to my surprise, there was a garden there. I thought I made myself very clear. Let me be very clear. That garden isn't going anywhere. Look around all these people. For once, they have access to fresh and healthy food. 
There's a McDonald's right down the street. Why don't you shut it down? Mr. Winley, if you don't remove your garden from city property, it is going to cost you a lot more than just fines. The city will issue a warrant for your arrest. Just leave Mr. Winley alone. Kia, don't you have something better to do than shutting down gardens? Trust me, I'm being friendly. John, I didn't have to offer you a warning. Are you really going to get me arrested for planting vegetables, Mr. Kelly? So let me ask you a question. Are you even aware of all the zoning laws that you're breaking? Are you aware that you need permits to use city property? I am not trying to cause trouble. I am here just to enforce the rules. Are you aware of how many people in this community have serious health conditions because they live in a food desert? I am sorry. That is not my department. Pay the fine. Remove the garden, John. Can you believe him? You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I will handle everything. Hey, what, what are we standing around for? We got more produce to pass out. Hey, guys, come on, come on, come on, come on. Strawberries are really sweet this season. Come on. We'll get you a basket, right? Hey, how you doing? Hi, brother. John Winley. Is there a problem, officers? We've got a warrant for your arrest. Wow. Is it really coming to this? Do you guys even know why they're trying to arrest me? Vandalizing public property. Vandalizing. Does this look like vandalizing to you? It's a garden, brother. Look, we didn't issue the warrant. Yeah, we can explain it to the judge. Oh, my God. Mr. Whitman, what's going on? Take care of my garden kids. Let everybody know. The community will help you. You're making a big mistake. What are you doing? You heard him. We gotta take care of the garden. The people of this neighborhood still need this food. Sam, you recorded that, right? No. Yeah. Send it to me. I got an idea. Sent. We're here today outside the Inglewood Courthouse, where a local man is being tried for planting a garden in his neighborhood. You heard that right. The story of John Winley is going viral thanks to the support from his community. Last month, he was arrested on the streets of South Los Angeles for turning a sidewalk into a garden full of fruits and vegetables. City officials say it's prohibited to do so on city property. After his arrest, however, his community continued to tend to the garden. The footage caught the attention of several news sources, so the city council is aware of the situation. The question is, will John Winley face time in jail for planting tomatoes on a sidewalk? Or will the city pardon him for providing healthy food to his community? We'll find out soon enough. Back to you, Tom. This has never been about one man. My client never intended to make a profit, nor did he intend to keep the produce all to himself. This has always been about the community. The real issue here isn't the garden. The real issue is the lack of healthy food in our neighborhoods. South Los Angeles is a food desert. And John Winley, he's trying to change that. John is a hero. Having healthier food options could save our lives. That's right. Order. Order, please. We're in the court. Is there anything further? No, Your Honor. I think they pretty much summed it up. Prosecution, your opening statement. <sighs> Judge Williams, seems to me that this case is pretty simple. I mean, Mr. Windley, he was given all kinds of warnings, citations, and he knew he was breaking the law. Policies for a reason. And uh, the sidewalk, well, people just can't do what they want on a sidewalk. Sidewalks were made for walking, pure and simple. Just like the city walks all over us when we ask for better grocery stores in our neighborhood. Count how many fast food restaurants there are. Then count how many farmers market. Order. 
Please, no further outbursts, or I will ask you to leave my court. <laughs> Your Honor, if I may, there is a clear unanimous decision within this community. They want this garden. Your Honor, may I approach the bench? I don't believe the prosecution was finished. Oh, I don't have a problem with it, Your Honor. Go ahead. Your Honor, in South Central LA, we live in an area that lacks the basic nutrition we need. Now, the city keeps pumping out liquor stores, fast food restaurants, all that's real good for business in the city's pockets. But it is bad for the overall health of the community. So I took matters into my own hands, and I built a garden for the whole neighborhood to enjoy so kids can be excited about strawberries and Brussels sprouts, cucumbers, not processed foods. Where I'm from, you ain't never seen a tomato, a lettuce, unless it was inside of a cheeseburger, until I showed them a better way, a healthier way. The DA got it wrong. I was not trying to take anything away from the city, Your Honor. I was trying as hard as I could to give something back. Judge Williams, this is not a town hall meeting. The people of this community have nothing to do with this, and they shouldn't get a say. You're right. But I can't help but think that maybe they should. What? It's obvious to me Mr. Winley has motivated his whole neighborhood to working together towards a common goal. This garden on the sidewalk, it's a symbol of a brighter future. I see nothing wrong with that. Oh, your honor. I've said all I need to say. I hereby move this ruling to a town hall meeting where the garden will be put to a vote by the members of the community. And I have a feeling I already know the outcome. As for John Winley, all charges are dropped. Case dismissed. John, you did it! We did it. It's just like you said, Mr. Winley. When a community works together, you can accomplish incredible things. That's right, Grace. That's right. Two fingers. Go right in the dirt there. One hole. One seeper hole. We're gonna whirl them later. Good job, Sam. Theodore. Hey, John, listen, I just really wanted to say that I'm Hey, we're not sorry. doing anything wrong here, all right? New laws passed. No. Oh, no. Oh. I am just here to see if the radishes are ready. Yes, sir. I got them for you right here, brother. Right. Thank you. And my mom, she cannot stop talking about these. <laughs> and uh, again, I'm uh, truly sorry for what I put you through. I hold no grudges to y'all. If you hadn't came down the way you did, we would have never got that law changed. Now we can plant gardens anywhere we want. That's true. Very impressive what you've done. You really are a hero, John. Please. Call me the gangster gardener. You should be proud, gangster gardener. Come here. <laughs> Let me jump in and help, yeah, let's actually. Do it, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Can I trouble you for 22 cents so that I can get something to eat?